Good morning, Holy Spirit. For the gift of good conscience today, Heavenly Father, thank you for putting your truth in our conscience and then responding to its prompting to know you intimately through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Friends, the conscience is our God-given personal alarm system programmed with certain truth. Paul tells us in Romans 2, 14 to 15, and I read, For when Gentiles who do not have the law by nature do the things in the law, these, although not having the law, are a law to themselves, verse 15, who show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and between themselves their thoughts, accusing or else excusing them. These verses seem to point out the fact that even the most primitive cultures possesses a conscience. The key to our different behaviors is programming. If everyone has a conscience, which I believe everyone does, why do people react to situations differently? If everybody has a conscience, how can a child of 16 years kill his parents or rip a schoolmate? and laugh at the camera as he is led into the courtroom for trial. Beloved, these real scenes seem seen on the television news and make us wonder if some people are born without a conscience. To the medical community, they have been these people have been labeled as sociopath those who seem to have no sense of right and wrong why different behaviors in our community today some destructive even to human lives and why else will two people act so differently about the same offense one with great sorrow and one without any remorse Programming, input, those who program the thinker, filler, and chosa uh, with the truth of God will be much more uh, disposed to respond with great remorse when they sin as opposed to people who never put anything of eternal value into their conscience. No wonder we react and respond differently. Modern technology like computers and iPhones, social media platforms seems to tell young adults what to perceive as right or wrong. Like all good things, there is a dark side to computer industry. It has brought pornography to the 
screens of homes, computers, exploiting and degrading moral values in the community. Friends, just as computers can be programmed positively or negatively, the conscience can be programmed with the truth of God or the depravity of the world. Depending on which source of information you choose to program into your conscience, you will react accordingly. Somebody warned Charles Coulson of blessed memory of the prison's ministry had this to say. A loss of conscience in our young people threatens this country with anarchy. Parents and all well-meaning people in our communities can teach our children that being honest protects from guilt and provides for a clear conscience. Beloved, as you walk with God faithfully, He will speak to you through your conscience, letting you know the difference between right and wrong, shame and honor. Be sure to act on the promptings of the Word of God in your heart so that you do what is right, that your conscience will remain clear and fruitful. Thanks for listening. Stay blessed and bye.